Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Round three, let's begin. First up, take four straws and connect them to make a square. Then pour some bubble soap into a pan. Next, tie a thin string into a circle. Then dip the straws into the bubble soap and place the string on the film. Now if you pop the bubble film in the center of the string loop, the string will get pulled into a nearly perfect circle. Take a piece of fine steel wool and unravel it so it spreads out a bit and has more access to air. Then roll it back up. After weighing it, you'll see that it's 10.66 grams in mass. Remember that value for later. Next, using a 9 volt battery, light the steel wool and watch as it slowly burns. Wait until it's done burning and then weigh it again. You'll see that the steel wool is now lighter at only 9.49 grams because some of the steel wool burned away. If you need to pour water from one beaker to the other but can't bring them directly over one another, you can solve this by first grabbing some string and wetting it in some water. Then tape one end to the bottom of one beaker and tape the other end to the inside of another beaker. Then fill the first beaker with water and now you can use the string to pour water from one beaker to the other. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. By the way, this round was originally too long for shorts, which is why you're only seeing it now, and if you only watch shorts, there's a good chance you've missed other rounds, which is why I just released marathons of each season. You can check out those really long videos if you want to see all 75 rounds that have been made so far. Anyway, now back to the reveal for this round. If you thought popping the center of the string would make a perfect circle, you'd be correct. Surface tension pulls the string into this shape, and you can even slide the circle around by tilting it, that is, until it pops, of course. You also can pour water between two beakers using string like this, although unless you're very careful like I was, it's probably going to spill at least a little. If you thought steel wool loses mass when burned, you'd be wrong. Steel wool actually gains mass when it's burned because the combustion draws oxygen from the air to form iron oxide, aka rust, on the steel wool. I made it look like it got lighter simply by not zeroing the scale before measuring it. 